Hey, what's up everybody? Connor Johnson here, back at it again with another vlog that you all love. I have a better camera quality than I did last time. I know it was terrible quality and super cringy. That's when I was, uh, never mind. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I'm gonna teach you guys how to go mushroom hunt. We're going to mushroom hunting. I'm gonna teach you guys how to mushroom hunt. I'll teach you guys how to spore a mushroom. And I'll teach you guys about the different mushrooms that are found here locally in North Carolina. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Okay, so the way to spore a mushroom. So you get your knife, and you flip a mushroom upside down, and you cut the stalk right, right there, like that. Make it kind of smooth with the gills, and then you just lay it upside down where you found it, and then by tomorrow, it will be, though mushrooms don't have seeds, they have spores, which is like dust, it's like mushroom dust. So if you ever stepped on a mushroom and it like sparted out, or farted, what? Like spewed out a bunch of like dust, those are the spores. So I'm just gonna pop the stem out, lay it upside down. And in 24 hours, the mushroom will have dropped all its spores and then begin to get more mushrooms growing on it. So with the stems, you can just throw them or bury them or whatever. It could possibly regrow. So this is the deformed one. It has like half a shell, no that. shell, <laughs> and a really thick stalk. Thick. thick. I might eat tape right now. You're gonna film the vlog too? Don't poke it. So this is stalk, I'm just gonna chuck that. Here's that really big one I found. Like you can hold it in your hand. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut the stem. Throw that, throw the stalk, flip it upside down. And now we're gonna go find more mushrooms. We found a bunch here yesterday. Here's one right here, guys. And there's a couple over there. I'll get to in a second. So, to pick a mushroom is you go all the way down to the dirt. You just kinda rock it a little bit and pull it up. So this is not an Amanita species. You can tell because Amanitas have like slits like that but there's not doesn't like cut through it but and at the bottom when you pluck it if it has like an egg sac type thing on the bottom that's an awesome nominita those are the most dangerous mushrooms don't ever eat a nominita so i just poured that one hope i sit down that looks like a seizure mushroom you can tell because it has that purple on it and seizure mushrooms have those slits in it when they get older so a mushroom on, pops <laughs> A mushroom like this mushroom right here. This mushroom has. Here, I'll, I'll thank you. Got we're it. We're talking Dang. about mushrooms, and we're going mushroom hunting. With. And you just cut it like that, there. and a mushroom has where? Hey guys, it curves over, like that. It means it's a baby mushroom. Adult mushrooms will flare up, and then pop the head off, and that's how they spore themselves in the wild. He's talking about like regrowing mushrooms. Here's a big patch. Here's a mushroom. So you can see how this one here is full grown because it's flared up and has that cup. So this one here is about to spore. And you can see how it's it's moldy and rotten. The stem's all nice and purpley. Found a mushroom. What is this? I don't know. Okay, hold on. So these are the two different colors. This one's white. This one's purplish. So, what you do, again, cut it off, lay it upside down, and here's a big patch of mushrooms right here. <laughs> There's Grayson, about to kill himself. Now here's a mushroom that has grass growing through it. This one here is also pur blue and purple. And green. I'm just gonna spoil that one. This species here is. Hold on. Okay, so this is a field mushroom. I know it's not growing in a field, but you'll normally find them in the field. They have gills, as you can see. How they're like slits. And some of them will have. They look like a sponge. But that's what the bottom of a mushroom looks like. That's spreading its spores also. That's a quicker way. But that's also harming this mushroom, even though I already plucked it. But I'm just going to spore all these. 
Grayson just killed himself. Okay. And then here's a mushroom. This is also a field mushroom. This one's like a rotten field mushroom. Scored that. Mushrooms life matter, bro. Yeah, mushroom lives matter. Here's another field mushroom. Brody, I'm finding a lot of field mushrooms. See, this is a field mushroom. No, this is actually a seizure mushroom. See, it has the red on it. Red is light. Spore that. Yeah, this is the expert over here. Yeah. With my sick knife. Cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> now, here's a seizure mushroom. Actually, this is two mushrooms. We found a conjoined one yesterday. Found a conjoined one right now. Oh, here you see mushroom. So this is an interesting mushroom. So right here, it's sponge, but then it goes to kills. Yeah. What the heck? It's gonna spore this. So this is the deadly version. You can tell because it has dots on it and sometimes those dots will be wiped away by the rain but sometimes they're not which means that it's the deadly one it's not a nominita but it's a deadly one and i found this perfect dog oh yeah i found an actual seizure mushroom not the deadly one now look at this guys this is what a seizure mushroom is supposed to look like that's just a little Whatever, but that's what a seizure mushroom is supposed this to look like. Been mushroom hunting with me, Connor, and all right, guys. We're not gonna put him. In. <laughs> no, so I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> but if you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.